Hey guys, today's video is going to give you an overview of my nail space, where I do my nails, and how I store all of my materials. First thing you'll notice is my desk. I absolutely love this desk. It is from Office Depot and I purchased it last year. I have my plastic wrap for when I do pedicures. Then I have my nail polish removers, all different types, acetone and non-acetone, polish thinner, a buffer, a lamp, for when I make videos, you see my tripod right out in front, a plastic cup on the side there for doing water marbling. I have my palette for my paints, and then a cup full of tools like nail art, pens, and brushes. And this is actually a cotton ball grabber, which is great for taking off your polish. Then I have two baskets from Dollar Tree with neutral and then colorful nail art polishes along with a whole bunch of paintbrushes and orange sticks in a cup, some hand sanitizer and tape, and that's my work surface. Then I have my little box here. It's sort of a crafting tackle box to be exact. It is from Joann's and it was on sale when I bought it. It has all these different compartments in it, and I like to keep a lot of my manicure tools in here. So you see things like toe separators, files, nail clippers, etc. I keep my Conad stamping supplies in here along with the special polishes. I have some buffers. On the bottom I have a lot of nail art things like rhinestones, some lotion pedicure supplies, and little Dollar Tree items for nail art. Again, this little box was from Joann's, and I do highly recommend it if you like to keep all of your odds and ends for manicures in one place. Lastly is my Rolling Helmer from Ikea. It's about $40, and it's absolutely perfect for nail storage. The top drawer has all of my top coats, base coats, my nail wheels, and a whole bunch of different glitters from the craft store. The second drawer is completely full of acrylic paints for when I do nail designs that require acrylic paints. I have a set from Walmart that I just pulled out, some little ones that I cut up from those long strips, and other bottled acrylic paints. Then, oops, not the fourth drawer, the third drawer has all of my neutral polishes. I'm going to pull a couple out here. I have whites, tans, and browns. I have all of my glitters in here, and I also have blacks and grays. Now on to the fourth drawer. The fourth drawer has all of my red polishes, all of my yellow polishes, and all of my green polishes. Drawer number five is full of purple polishes and orange polishes. You can see here that I use half the drawer for purple and half the drawer for orange. I used to do this by brand, but I found that doing it by color makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. And lastly, drawer number six has pink polishes and blue polishes. They're in the last drawer because they're the heaviest and I have the most of them. I do have about 260 polishes in my collection now and the Helmer fits them all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to add me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you next time.